Hey everyone, and welcome back to the second episode in this vlog series. So the last episode, I added a new blend space with some new animations for the Survival Game Kit 2. And there's a new jump, idle, and then the blend space for all this locomotion movement. Now I'm going to uh, add a bow from the third person archery kit. So I figured I would do this in more of a tutorial fashion than I normally would. That way, if anyone is um, trying to add the bow to their survival game kit, hopefully this will be helpful to you as well. So the first thing that we're going to have to do is open up the third person archery kit in a clean project. And then we just want to right click and migrate the project files into the survival game kit. And make sure you put that in the content folder. And we can close the third person archery. Okay, so now we have the archery system migrated into the content folder of the survival game kit. So the first thing that we'll have to do is open the skeletons on both those characters on the archery and the master character. So we have the archery character here on the left and the survival game kit character on the right. So we're going to copy some sockets. Bow socket, copy selected socket, and bow one goes on hand left. Paste socket. And then back, bow back, and quiver socket both go on spine three. Paste sockets there. And then we can save that. Exit out. Now we're going to be copying a couple things over from the player character for the archery kit here on the right over to master character on the left. So the first thing that we'll have to copy is the bow attached. And just make sure that you drag it up and put it on the actual mesh. And we'll put that on the bow back socket that we just pasted over onto the skeleton. Now the quiver and the quiver arrows, same thing with those. and the quiver will be attached to the quiver socket. Okay, so the next thing that we need to do is copy some variables from the construction script. So open that up in the archery character and then in the survival game kit. So 
So we're going to first replace the third person uh, follow camera with third person camera. You can just drag that in. And for this, uh, I don't want the bow to have anything to do with the walk speed because that can already be set um, when we create it as an item in the survival game kit. Uh, if you do, you can leave that, that logic in here, but um, I'm going to get rid of it. So we actually don't need that. And then these two variables you want to create. And we'll be creating a lot of variables for the bow. Um, you can go back and categorize them all at the same time later or just start doing it now. I'm not going to for this tutorial. Okay. Okay, so the next thing that we'll have to copy over is in the event graph here. For the archery character, you're going to want to copy and paste in all of the aim assist stuff. I'm going to go ahead and put it in the inputs. And we're going to create some of these variables here, uh, like aim assist target, trace radius, and max aim distance. Go ahead and compile those. And then trace radius is going to be 50. And you can check these values bef uh, in the one that you copied from. And max aim distance will be 2,000. Don't worry about the bow reference yet. The follow camera is the third person camera. You can just drag that in and replace. Create the rest of these variables here. This is going to be get timeline zero. So we'll set max trace radius to 100. And aim assist play rate should be set to one. Okay, so the next thing that we'll do is go back into the player character and we're going to get all of the begin play stuff. And you can just go into begin play here. Create a sequence. And then we'll just plug into this sequence here. Uh, go ahead and do nothing. That will broken um, function will be fixed here in a minute. So we'll go ahead and create default bow, equipped bow, uh, walk speed. Like I said, I'm not going to deal with any of that stuff in the archery system. Create the variable bow reference. The player UI is not going to be relevant 
for me anyway, uh, which also means I don't need this branch. Probably don't need that either, but I'm just going to leave this for now. Go ahead and create uh, mesh, arrow meshes in quiver and start transform and leave the save arrow transforms for now. Okay, once that's done, we can go into, uh, into your graphs here and create a new graph and call that the bow graph. And then we can go in here and just copy everything over. And go ahead and do nothing for all that, confirm. Go ahead and compile. And then before you click anything else, right click anywhere and refresh the nodes. Compile again. And then we're basically going to go through and create and uh, these variables and fix some of these broken links here. Okay, so now if we go back into begin play and refresh this save arrow transforms, that should be good now. And one other thing that I'd like to do real quick, because it'll save some time later, is to create this macro reset weapon draw. create the variable draw. And then also we want to make sure that our bow reference is set to replicated and that draw is set to replicated. Force aim start and stop. Go ahead and refresh those again and they should clear out. Create aiming. Aiming will also be replicated. So update both settings is a function we'll have to create. Might as well just do that now since it's next on the list. Uh, if you go over to the player character, you'll see it. It looks a little intimidating, but it's actually really easy to create.
So we just create it, make sure it's named the same thing, and we're going to add an input on there, the same as the one listed here. And for the variable type, it's an actor, but it's a class reference. And then for the bar variable type of the second one, it's BP Bowmaster object reference. So if you create that, go ahead and compile, and you can come in here and grab everything else. go ahead and hook these up Okay, so that is all you have to do for the update bow settings. And then some of those should correct themselves, and then we'll just have to go in and fix the rest of the um, variables that are broken. Two other functions that uh, we can go ahead and create and might save a little trouble in the end is the subtract and add arrows. And if you see in here, there's the functions already made for you. And I believe current ammo when you paste this in is a local variable and the rest are not. Arrows is replicated. We're going to name this ammo to add. Make sure you connect there and there.
arrows to subtract. Okay, so we have all our functions. We can go through and just create any of these other variables. And when you create the variable can draw, make sure that the default is set to true. And if you need to double check any of the variables, just look at the ones in the player character. And our missing macro that we created earlier is in this unequip event. So we'll just connect that back up for now. Just keep going through your set sprinting false. Uh, we're not going to worry about, so we can just delete that. Keep going through your list in your results of um, errors. So we'll need, we don't have the action map set here. We're going to need to get rid of that. And we don't have the one for aim either. So we can just delete those for now. And actually, while we're here, let's just create four custom events. And I'm going to call this aim press. aim release draw press and draw release and we'll set those up in just a second Just going to check a couple variables. Aiming is replicated. The bow reference, make sure that's replicated. Arrows. And that should be it for that. Okay, and then as you can see right here where we created add and subtract arrows, that's fixed. Uh, if, if it's not, just go ahead and drag these new functions that you created in here and plug them in. And 
and then we'll have to set in the default bow, go ahead and set one of the bows. Um, we'll just set aim, draw, projectile, post process for now so we can make sure everything's working. Make sure in the variable called arrows um, that it's both replicated and that you set a high value in there for now, just so it doesn't mess up any of the testing, like uh, put a few nines in there. Max arrows, let's go with 100. Subtract number variable, the default is one, if you hadn't set that. Okay, so that takes care of all the variables that need to be created and set. And our bow graph is set up, so what we'll have to do now is we're going to head into the BP Bow Master. And you'll see there's a couple errors in here. Just go ahead for now and unhook these. These surface types are not currently set up, um, and there is a better option anyway. Uh, that you can use for all of your weapons in the survival game kit that's free on the marketplace And I plan on doing a video in the future on that anyway, so for now just uh, unhook the ones that are giving a problem Then head into the event graph and Right here. We're gonna have to replace this cast to the player character with a cast to the survival game master character Make sure that you convert that to a pure cast. And then in order to get this uh, character reference without having to go replace all these, or so we know exactly where it needs replaced in other areas, we're just going to change this variable type to the survival game kit character. index all, hit yes, and run without source control, and just let that finish. And that will change all of the link references. And then anywhere that they're broken, uh, we can go and fix them and we'll know where they are. So in our with our new cast here, go ahead and change the new owner. And then we can set the character reference with that cast now that it's the correct variable type. And then we'll have to, we're going to get rid of this. Walk speed since we don't need it. And then we'll just pull these out, out of the new cast. Now we're going to have a bunch of broken character references. Um, so we can just go through and replace those.
And anywhere it says follow camera, just replace with third person camera. Now, P shoot, if you go into the player character on the follow camera, there's a particle system called P shoot, so you can just go ahead and paste that in. And since we already set up our macro, we can already we can set draw that we've already created. And the rotation rules, uh, I'm not going to worry about those. I'm actually just going to set these up here for now in case I want to look at them later. Uh, and we also, I don't need any of this because I'm not changing speeds with the bow.
for the player UI variable, uh, we did not set that earlier because I had unhooked it, but you just need to create it right here. For the get mesh, make sure you use the one way down here. Okay, uh, I think we have all of the variables that were broken in the BB, BP Bowmaster when we made the new cast are fixed now. So we can move on from there. Okay, so before we can aim and fire, um, we've got some issues to fix up here. So the first one, bow attached, make sure is on the bow back and then the coordinates are set to zero and location and rotation.
The arrows are a little off, but uh, we can fix that later. In fact, we might be um, doing something else with the quiver and arrows anyway, so uh, we can fix that at some other point. That looks a little better though, at least everything's attached where it's supposed to be. Bow goes in the hand properly, so that's a good start. Okay, so... In the master character, we have not set up yet where we aim and fire. We have these custom events we created earlier, but they're not hooked to anything yet. So if you go into inputs and then down here, we're going to kind of work these in. Um, but before we do that, I want to create a small macro so it'll save us a little room. We're just going to call that bow equipped with a question mark. And in that macro, we can just grab our bow equipped variable. drop a branch and an input and an output for true and false or outputs for true and false. So right here, we're going to just make a little room. Okay, so now that we have uh, 
check to see if the bow is equipped when we push the mouse right and left buttons. We have draw pressed and draw released triggering or aim pressed and aim release triggering. So now that we have that much, kind of come in here and just check to see if anything's working. So it looks like the post process is working. Aim. And we are able to uh, pull the bow back and not fire yet. So most of this is functionally working. We just need a few things to fix here. So first of all, uh, let's get the uh, equip animations and unequip working. So go ahead and find those animations and we're going to create some new ones here. So third person equip montage, you want to quick click that, the third person equip and the third person unequip montage, all those right click and retarget anim assets and then you want to choose duplicate and retarget and we're going to choose our survival game kit mannequin and then i'm going to put these in a different place we'll just put them in bow Okay, so for equip, just go ahead. Let's find our new animations. And for equip, just highlight that. Unequip. And if you hover over them, you'll see the path uh, just to make sure that you're in the right place. And we're in the bow anims folder that I just created, so we're all good. And we can go ahead and go into the montages themselves. And you want to change that body type to um, slot name, and you want to go to upper body post AO. Okay, so now you should be seeing your animations working. So we're going to need to, we're going to want to create four more um, retargeted animations. So find your fire arrow montage. and the fire arrow animation sequence and duplicate and retarget those. And we're just going to do the same thing that we did before. I'll just find the next one. Primary fast fire. Primary fire fast. And then you want both to retarget as well.
Fire arrow, grab new. Okay, so that we now that we've created all those, just want to check a couple things, and then I think we're ready to go into the Anim Blueprint. So if you go into the archery system, assets, characters, animations folder, and then you'll want to find the player anim BP. And there's some stuff that we're going to want to copy out of here and also recreate and retarget. So um, just kind of leave that open for a second. Now under update anim, we're gonna come in here and just put a sequence. Now there might be better ways to do this, um, but this is how I got it working. So. I might refine this at some point, but whoops. For the sake of showing you guys how that I got this working, um, this is what we're going to do. Whoops. Go ahead and promote that to a variable because I think there's one other place that you'll need it if you don't have it. and set those as well. And 
we're going to get base aim rotation. Get actor rotation. Get delta rotator. And then break the rotator, and then we're going to get pitch and yaw promoted as variables. Okay. Now after this, uh, let's pull out bow equipped and do a branch. our master character reference and we're going to get bow attached and then get child actor and cast to BP bow master Get draw changes play rate. Forward slash for float divided by float, and you're going to divide that by two, not one. And set. actually create a variable from this and then we're going to call that anim draw play rate get is drawing Get instant fire. Promote those two to variables, and we're going to set those also. Now back in our anim graph towards the bottom here, we're going to move a few things in from the anim BP for the player. Okay, so we're, if you come into the anim BP, anim graph for the player anim BP, 
we're going to grab this first box to the left here with all these nodes. Copy those. And then down here towards the bottom, we'll just paste those in. Now you can see uh, these variables here need created, but we already created some of them. I didn't name them correctly because I forgot the question marks. So we're going to replace is aiming with aiming. The instant fire should replace directly. Anim draw play rate, which we created earlier, should be there if it's not drag it in and is drawing okay so once we've pasted in and we correct all these variables here to the ones that we set in the um, over on the event graph we're gonna kick uh, save the cached pose oops and i'm just going to call it bow ub for bow up or body for right now So back over in the in here, So grab this first one, bow equipped and blend by bool. And we're just going to copy and paste that. And so essentially we're going to take this right here. Now correct all those variables to the ones that we had. Now we're going to use uh, the cache pose bow upper body.
And so over here in the survival game kit, um, the setup right after upper body post AO, we're going to disconnect that. And we're going to save another pose here. And we'll just call that post AO. Now from the outside of this bow equipped blend by bool, we'll plug that in. And we're going to take our post AO cache pose that we created here and plug that in under false pose. Okay, so we've got some animations to correct, which is fine. And then also this... Um, this aim offset is still the aim offset for the player. So we'll have to come in here and it's right here, AO idle. So we're just going to right click and retarget that the same way we did before. do is on the actual Anna BP I'm gonna drag that in in as a window and then just the the new aim offset that we created just now actually physically drag it in there So now that's fixed. Now what we'll have to do is just go and find each one of these and do the same thing also. Okay, so as you can see, our bow is working. Now I have the post-process bow equipped, so when I go to aim, there's a post-process material um, for this reason. It highlights different things. But you can see where arrows are firing. Now I'm going to do another video in the future um, that will kind of clean this up and add it as an item to the survival game kit, but I wanted to at least um, go this far and kind of stop here so that I don't know how everybody wants the item 
integrated into their survival game kit. Um, whether you want it like an, a bow that's you have all the time, um, independent of the other weapons that you pick up, like some games do, or if you wanted to have it actually be like an item in the game that you can craft, um, that sort of thing. That's how I'm going to implement it into the game. So I'll do a separate video on that in the future. But for now, this um, kind of gives you at least a working bow in the game uh, that you can either go from there and implement it how you need to, but this will give you the basic idea. And if you want any other type of bow, um, when you do your switching, the easiest way, in my opinion, that it would be to switch the bow is, um, and how I have it is when the item is equipped, it does a check and then it just changes the variable for uh, default bow. So you can just take this variable here and change the actual uh, bow to a different one, any of these other ones, um, by just getting a glass reference and changing it that way. But you can see if I change this variable here to a different bow, like the post process is no longer a thing because I'm, I'm using the draw aim projectile. But that does a nice job of blending it as needed. And with the quiver and the arrows, um, that system is set up, but I don't plan on using that either. So I'll be overhauling that a little bit. But uh, anyway, I hope that's helpful for some of you. And if you would like to set it up as an item, that'll be the next video. So stick around and uh, I hope that's useful for you.